Curbing the public protector, advocate Busisiwe Mkabane's fitness to hold office has declined her request for the committee to subpoena President Cyril Ramaphosa to appear before it. SABC News reporter Bulelani Philip is following that story. A very good afternoon to Bulelani. Just talk to us about why that decision was made and reasons advanced for it. Good afternoon to you, Nzinga, and to the listeners at home. Uh, basically, the committee has declined this uh, request by the legal team of the suspended public protector on the grounds that they do not see a relevance in terms of subpoenaing or summoning the president, uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa. They are saying that he's not going to add any value if he's summoned, and in any eventuality, he will have to take a decision after the National Assembly has actually considered whatever outcome that is coming out of this committee. So at the moment, uh, that de a decision of uh, summoning the president is going to be declined by the committee. Mm -hmm. It's a very fraught process. Uh, there's very opposing sides as to what's happening there. Some detailing it a winch hunt and some people saying that it's in order to make sure that Chapter 9 institutions are protected and safe from people who may be trying to destroy them. Just give us some more insight as to what's happened around that parliamentary process. Well, essentially, you know, the issues that are around the suspension and ultimately the consideration of whether the suspended public protector is fit to hold office center around you know the legal or adverse and legal findings by the courts against her reports and the committee has actually been going through some of the scathing uh, actually remarks by some of the judges that have ruled on this particular matter and secondly is that uh, she's being accused of also not being able to apply the law to its letter so at the moment uh, the legal team of the public protector is actually trying to discredit some of the people that have been called as witnesses to say that uh, their version of events and their uh, testimony cannot be relied on because they are people who are appearing to be disgruntled employees mm -hmm. because some of them have been taken through disciplinary measures and some of them have since left the employ of the public protector. So their argument is that they've got an X to grind against the suspended public protector. But again, the verdict is going to be reliant or, or rather is going to be weighed or upon by the committee when it makes uh, its deliberations and considerations. And when are we going to see that process? What else still needs to happen? Well, essentially, at the moment, they are still trying to look at the revised uh, plan uh, of all the witnesses that will be called uh, in favor of, of the committee, or rather as witnesses of the committee. But then again, the concern has been raised that uh, the legal team of the public protector has not been forthcoming in terms of the witnesses that it wants to be appearing for this committee. But there is an undertaking that uh, perhaps maybe by the end of next week, they will be then uh, be giving those uh, uh, lists of witnesses that they will be calling upon. But the work of the committee is actually scheduled to be completed by the end of next month, if things go according to plan. Bulelani Philip, SABC News reporter, giving us an update on that process around um, the suspended public protector and the parliament, parliamentary inquiry into her fitness to hold office. All right, we bring